live music is returning. For the first time in eight years, concerts are coming back to Towson. Thanks for staying with WJZ tonight. I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Denise Koch. The Wrecker Theater is reopening its doors in just a few days for socially distanced shows. WJZ is live. Stetson Miller is telling us more about what's different this time around and what shows are coming soon. Hey, Stetson. Hey, Nicole and Denise. Yeah, a lot of people are very excited about the the return of the wrecker here. Years ago, this place used to host a lot of well-known acts, both local and international, and now they're coming back. Live music is back at the Wrecker Theater after closing its doors to concerts in 2013. Gave us a call and uh, we were like, yeah, let's do that. The venue used to host shows with both local and well-known artists like the White Stripes, Lincoln Park, and Iggy Pop. But it couldn't compete with bigger venues, so it was turned into a nightclub. But then co owner Brian Recker got a call from promoter Paul Manning, who wanted to start it all up again. Promoters always said Baltimore's not a music town. And, uh, you know, Paul's like, no, Baltimore is a live music town. The first show starts Friday with Baltimore based Kelly Bell Band, and it's already sold out, along with several other shows. Even though indoor concerts are allowed at up to 50% capacity right now, the Wrecker is taking a more cautious approach. It's just to get started, you know. I mean, we're only going to do, we're only selling like 85 tickets in the beginning. Now, masks must be worn at all times, except when seated at tables. These are all six feet apart, and groups that plan to sit together have to come and go at the same time. The venue has also had a facelift, new lights, an updated stage and flooring, and an upgraded sound system. But it's still the same classic record theater, with the mission to bring more live music to the people of Baltimore. Everybody loves music. You know, it's just, it's something about it. It's just, it, it, it's good for everybody. And that, again, the first live show is on Friday at 7 p.m., but the tickets are already sold out for that show. There are other shows, though, in the future that still have tickets available. You can find the link to buy those on our website, WJZ.com. We're live in Towson, Stetson Miller for WJZ.